You got to learn how to play your position or play a position. Because understand, it don't matter what position you play. If the team win, you get a championship ring. People, my people. My people, DJ, DJ, stop the beat. Now, I got some news, and I don't know how y'all going to take this, but I'm going to give it to y'all how I give it. They are saying this man you see on the screen, his name is Patrick. He's 33. He was the one responsible for takeoff demise. You got to learn how to play your position or play a position. Because understand, it don't matter what position you play. If the team win, you get a championship ring. He was the one with the pow pow that dropped take off now a lot of people in the streets are talking and they're not happy that this man is arrested and this man uh, um, they got him locked up in prison yeah all the news are talking about this and i want to know do you know why they mad huh? do you know why they mad dj cut the beat let me tell y'all why they said something ain't adding up something in the milk ain't clean they said, eh, hey, nah, nah, this is the fall guy. They said, you can't trick, trick us. We know how y'all work, okay? So the streets are talking, and I want to know what y'all think about this. Yes, we need to talk about this, all right? Because uh, we definitely want justice for takeoff, and we want the right person. But, you know, in a corrupt society, we may not always get what we want, okay? Uh, so, hey, all the news outlets is talking. And you know I'm not going to bring you nothing that is not officially, okay? I'm not going to come tomorrow and say it's unofficially. You hear what I mean? Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's go right here. You know, all the glad. news are talking about it. This is the statement they have from the internet. Check this out. And a suspect has been arrested and charged with takeoff death. Uh, it certainly, I think, will bring some comfort to the family, though it does not bring a uh, takeoff back. Uh, this is a significant step towards seeking justice, and I hope it also brings uh, additional comfort to all of those who love takeoff. Over the past few weeks, Chief Fenn and I were asked often about the status of the investigation. Uh, the chief kept me informed about uh, the information that had been received. I am glad. All right, so uh, are you guys happy? I want to know, are you guys happy with the choice of Patrick? Uh, press 1. If you're happy with this and you're content, press 2. If you feel like, no, I'm not satisfied, this is a fall guy, you cannot fool me. Now, a lot of people said they saw in the video that it was little Cam. Cam was the dark-skinned skinny dude. Yeah, they pulled him in for questioning not too long ago, but they let him go, and they picked this guy up. And they wanted to let you guys know, take off, he did not have a pow-pow on him. He was not involved in a dice game. He was an innocent bystander, okay? And another thing, can y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe? Hey, how y'all doing with my party crashes at? Where my party crashes? Where y'all let up in here with my subscribers? Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. But, uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this. And let's look in the comment section and see what the people are saying. Because I already told y'all, the people I am are glad not satisfied. All right, so I'm going to go over here, if you guys can see. They said this ain't adding up. Hell no. Nah. How much Jay Prince is paying y'all? I don't know if you guys believe it or not, but they are saying that Mob Ties, Jay Prince, you guys know Mob Ties, that's some thug record labels. And, ben, and, you know, Jay Prince, he's the top dog of the Mob Ties. And they said that he is in connection with the Popos. He's paying them off. They're very crooked. They look out for each other. Okay, so people are not buying it, baby. It says, I think L.A. need these officers in regards to Big Impact. Okay, that was, uh, I don't know where he coming with that. But uh, we want to know what the people think. So over 30 people in no statement. Okay, let's talk about that. Um, all those black people there, you guys seen the videos. If you haven't, it went viral. Oh, my God. We actually saw a video footage of Migos, half of them, uh, take off in, what's the other dude name? Take off in Quavo. Quavo with mob ties. Uh, 
I guess Quavo lost. He owed them thousands of dollars, y'all. Quavo was so embarrassed. And uh, Quavo did not want to give up that money. And uh, they said, no, you need to pay up. And then they started joking and talking about, well, we get you in basketball. We get you in that. Quavo said, no, I feel disrespected. Don't don't say nothing like that. Don't play with me like that. He said, let me go before I hurt somebody in this joint. And DJ Academics, you know who that is? He's a big blogger out here on the Internet. Yeah, y'all. He said that was the calling card for mob ties to retaliate he said when quavo said let me go before i hurt somebody up in here he said you know how thugs are thugs are very emotional they're very hypersensitive and any little thing seemingly as disrespected in front of a group of people when they feel embarrassed or humiliated by their own they will snap Okay, so he said that statement right there was the snapping and was the calling card for the thugs to retaliate. And when he said that, why would he say that? That's when the thugs of the mob ties start pulling out their straps and pow, pow, pow. Girl, we heard it all on the, uh, all on the screen. Next thing you know, takeoff is gone. Okay, he's on the floor, blood running out and everything, people running and stuff. And they said out of all those black people that was there, I think I ain't see no white ones. I ain't see no Mexican dudes. Okay, but uh, all, all people there, no black person made a statement. They all left. And I don't know if you guys know this, but in the hood, uh, they have a big policy, no talking to the police. They have a big policy, no snitching. And the hood, uh, no matter what it is, it don't even matter if somebody popped your mama, you better not snitch, you better not tell nobody. Don't talk to that damn police. Allow the street niggas to handle your justice. But they don't, they, they, no, no, no. The, the popos is the enemies. The popos is the rivalries. But they can't go to the popos because... You know, I don't know why. What if they popo? If they hate the popos, why don't they just go to the damn popo department and start busting up? They're just never going to do it. So, regardless of that, that's the number one sin in the hood is a snitch. That's the number one sin. Nobody want to be associated or uh, related to a snitch. Okay, so none of those men were snitching. Now you have the black community in the comments section acting surprised, talking about, oh, my God, I can't believe nobody made a statement. Nigga, where you been? And, and even in the post of the shade room, y'all constantly talk about people that talk to the police, talking about, oh, you snitching. You constantly, uh, you constantly shame people that want to speak out and tell their truth and talk to the police. And then... You shame them, but then when it's time for them to talk and they scared to talk, then you want to talk shit again. Y'all going to really have to pick a side and stick with it, okay? Another thing, people are saying, you know what? Oh, my God. The violence in the hood is just too much. It's just too much violence. Pick a damn side. If you don't like violence, stop listening to violence music. Okay, you standing up there bumping that gospel, that goddamn, <laughs> I said gospel, violent, demonic music in front of your damn kids. Okay, and the kids raise up because they want to listen to that bumpity bump too. Why do your kids know adult content? Why do your kids know these rap songs? Because they mama and they daddy listening to them in front of them. So these grown parents have to stop it. Stop it. Stop supporting it. Stop buying the records to decrease the violence in the hood because it contributes to the violence we see today. Okay. Um, and I guess maybe the movies and the video games, because the video games is violent. So, girl, did you hear about that 10-year-old? That 10-year-old boy that took out his black mama because he wanted a video game, and she said no, and she woke him up in the morning without getting that video game. They say he, she, he got the keys, and uh, he took, he piled his mom in the face, girl. Yeah, uh-huh. So it's the video games. It's everything that's so violent in the world. It's how you talk to each other. And the black in the hood, 
I say it all the time, my experience. These mothers and fathers talk to each other like enemies. They they so violent with their words, how they speak to each other. You got to stop that shit too, you know, uh, having it around your child, having it around each other. Find a better loving way to communicate with each other, okay? Um, so a lot of things contribute to violence. Now, you know, certain groups feel like the thing that contribute to violence is because these niggas broke. These niggas broke, they need more money. If they have more money, they'll stop the violence. Bullshit. Okay, that's how I feel. It's a lot of places in the countries in the world that don't have much, but they're not as violent in the hood. Okay, it's more than money. And another thing, girl, I go to goddamn McDonald's and stuff because you know I love fast food with my fat ass. Anyway, I go over there and now they get more money. Y'all pass them laws. They not making $7 an hour. They making $20 an hour. But come on with the customer service, girl. Girl, they, they, they hair be all messed up. Pants be sagging. Shit stings in their drawers. You know, the decorum, how they speak to you is still nasty and rude. I'm thinking we give you more money. The customer service need to be better. The presentation need to be better. But it's not. And that lets me know right there. Just because they have goddamn more money, it's not going to get better. More money, more problems. Okay? We see all these damn rappers with all that money, and they still violent. Uh, What's his name? Tory Lanez. Okay? Tory Lanez. Floyd Mayweather got all that money. He's still putting paws on girls. So I don't think it contributes, but you know, some people do. That's just my belief. Don't be forcing your beliefs down my throat. I don't got to swallow that shit. Okay? Now you believe how you feel, and that's cool. And let me do what I do. How about that? Okay. Let's talk about the follow the check. Where did that start? DJing, uh, like... When I first like started strip club DJing, they was giving me only the nights that nobody else wanted, or the the nights that wasn't popping. So like say, say back in the day, if a girl worked at Dreams, she didn't work at what other uh, club? She didn't work at Fetish. And shout out to the YouTuber, Dirt TV Celebrity Media. Shout out to you for always doing your due deals on the story. Breaking news. Yeah. So you got to learn how to play your position or play a position. Because understand, it don't matter what position you play. If the team win, you get a championship ring. So might go over your head, but what's understood. So you got to learn how to play your position or play a position. But understand, it don't matter what position. Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm going to be on out of here. Let me know if y'all want me to go live. Press that 20. Okay, I got time today. I got time today. Press that 20 if you want me to go live. You know, this time around, I did a something different with my commentary. You know what I'm saying? If you like the difference I did, uh, press 30. If you like this side, you know? And, um, shit, press five if you just want me to just be simple, quick with it, tell what happened, and just get my ass on out of here. All right, either way, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all on another note. Bye! DJ, where you at? Turn me up. All the way up, DJ. And don't you miss a beat. I'm out.